everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back, or if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name's Megan. So for today's video, I want to talk a little bit about how to find your style. But even if you feel that you know your style and you just want to perfect it and get it down to a T, I think this video would also be really helpful. I'll also talk a little bit about some of my favourite trends slash inspiration when it comes to fashion. So if that sounds good to you, then please do keep on watching and please do like and subscribe to see more. Okay, so let's get into it. I've got my laptop down here, so sorry if I keep looking down, I just don't want to forget anything. But the first step I have when it comes to recreating your style is to have a wardrobe clear out. I spoke a little bit about this in my sustainability video. I think whenever it comes to having a big fashion change in your life, the best thing to do is start with a wardrobe clear out. I actually really love having a wardrobe clear out. I find it really therapeutic to just go through and bin the clothes which I'm not wearing and also have a little try on session. You can make a fun little evening out of it. But a wardrobe clear out is really helpful because it allows you to number one, see what you've got in your wardrobe and what you're missing and whatever you've got to work with. Also what I really recommend is sorting out your clothes into piles. So you could have um, your favorite items, items that you like but not love and then obviously the items that you don't like. You could also sort them into things that you wear a lot, things that you wear sometimes and things that you don't really reach for. When you're organising your stuff into piles, try and see if your favourite piles and the things that you wear the most have anything in common, whether that could be how it fits and how it looks on you, the colours, the style or aesthetic of the clothes and of course what you feel your best in. Because I find that sometimes the clothes that you feel your best in aren't the clothes that you like the look of the most off of the hanger or even on other people. I see so many celebrities wearing really cool outfits and then whenever I try that thing on it just doesn't look good on me. Okay so now you're done with your wardrobe clear out which is arguably the boring bit then you get to go into the fun stuff which is finding your outfit inspiration and you can find outfit inspiration from anywhere. My favourite places to look on are Pinterest which I'll get onto in a minute but also celebrity style even if you have a friend that you really love their fashion and even eras of fashion I personally love the 90s. I think the mistake that a lot of people make is to think that you can only have one aesthetic or type of style. I see loads of TikToks about this but I think that the reality is is that blending loads of different elements of style together and bringing them all into one wardrobe is what makes you unique and I think it's a really cool thing to do. So I've just written for inspo sources that you can look to Instagram and celebrities. I also really like Styled by Florencia on Instagram which is basically an outfit Instagram account. There's loads of different ones. They're on screen now. But cool little Instagrams like this really do the work for you and create outfits and you can see how to style them and what to add which I think is really Cool. So style by Florencia is really my type of fashion, just loads of beiges and blacks and some casual outfits and some more dressy ones. But I'm sure there'll be one of these Instagrams for whatever your style is, so definitely keep a lookout. And then also a brand which has really influenced my style is And Other Stories. I just really like how they put their outfits together. They're really minimalist, but they've got some cute patterns and stuff as well. I just really love And Other Stories. And I also just wanted to take you through some of my Pinterest boards to show you how to make them and what to look for. I literally make Pinterest boards all the time out of boredom, so this one that I'm going to show you is called January 2021. I normally do do about one a month. And when you're making your vision boards, don't think they have to look really aesthetic and all fit together because actually when you're trying to figure out what style you like, you can have loads of different things. But for some reason this month I just really love beiges and blacks which is why my board looks so cohesive. As you can see, I'm really liking coats with like really long cosy sleeves and also woolly cardigans. I also really like leather jackets and trousers. I think those are really cool and really on trend at the moment. So basically when you're making your Pinterest boards, try and look out for the things which you're seeing again and again because because those I think should be the building blocks of your wardrobe. So for example, every Pinterest board I've got has basically got a blazer on it. I just really love blazers and I think I always will. So I know that I could really invest when I'm trying to build my wardrobe. And you can also see whose style you like the most of. For example, I love Hailey Bieber's style so much. And I actually follow her stylist on Instagram who's called Maeve Riley or Really, I think. She just puts together some amazing outfits. So I always look out for new inspiration from her. And another fashion trend which I love at the moment is gold jewelry, but I quite like abstract gold jewelry, which is a bit of a weird shape. That's just something that I'm into at the moment. So just quickly want to show you another board, which is called my ultimate fashion inspiration. And this has basically got all all my favourite people, TV characters, celebrities, that I just love their style. So I put them all together. And this board definitely has more variety. So we've got Blair from Gossip Girl, of course. Um, I've got Julia Roberts in there. I love her style from the 80s. Princess Diana as well, who was a huge fashion icon for me. I love the way that she styled blazers. And also her athleisure. I feel like she was wearing graphic jumpers and cycling shorts and trainers before they were even cool. 
And then I've also got Sophia Ritchie and Emily Ratajkowski on there as well. So that is a complete different blend. As you can see, all these women have completely different styles and I love all of them. And their styles have definitely affected my style. Once you've got the outlines of your perfect style laid out, the first bit of shopping to do is to look for your wardrobe essentials. And when you're looking for these, try to look for things which would work with absolutely everything that you love because you know that you'll get the most use out of them and therefore you know to invest in them. And investing doesn't have to be designer items. I really like designer items, but not everyone does. And you can also invest in items on the high street, but that are a little bit more expensive and therefore better quality. So I've written down some essentials I think worth investing in. Coats and jackets are definitely one. I really want to get a good quality long wool coat with really big sleeves. But if that's not what you're going for, you can go for a cool leather jacket or even a racer jacket. Next, of course, is shoes. I really like combat boots. I think are really cool. Um, you could also have a heeled boot or even just a chunky trainer. Anything which is going to work really hard in your wardrobe and that you're going to reach for all the time is basically an essential. And also bags, which is my personal weakness. I think it's so worth investing in your bags and also finding a bag which you think fits with every single outfit. For example, a small black crossbody bag, which I really want. And then for other accessories, you could have a nice belt or jewellery or even sunglasses. I don't know if everyone considers sunglasses an essential, but I definitely do. And these things aren't the most important in your wardrobe, but I do feel like they tie your outfit together and just make it look like an outfit. The next step for your wardrobe is to really plan out your purchases. I definitely recommend shopping online for this rather than going out shopping because then I feel like you buy things more spontaneously. For example, if you find a leather jacket that you really like, then you can have a little shop around and see if you can find a nicer one before you buy that one because it's really annoying when you buy something and then find it somewhere else nicer or even cheaper. Also, if you're trying to completely overhaul your style and you want to change everything, I recommend shopping in outfits and planning out what outfits you want to buy so you have a different outfit for each occasion. So here's just a few different examples of outfits. So you could have a comfy outfit. I really like matching like knitted sets, especially with a little cardigan. Um, but if you don't like that style, then even like a tracksuit, basically anything to wear around the house, which is especially important now. If you're living in the UK now, I think it's a really good time to get your style up now because then when this is all over, hopefully by summer, then you'll be able to show off your new style. Anyway, so the next outfit idea is something to run errands in. This is definitely the outfit which I get the most wear out of. Normally when I'm just going shopping or to the post office, I know it's really extra to have an outfit for them. And then the third outfit is out during the day and I feel like girls will know what this means. This is like your brunch outfit, you're going shopping outfit, out for a nice lunch. Basically anything a bit more dressy but still daytime. And then of course an out in the evening one. So that is pretty much it. That is all the tips I have to finding your new style. The thing about finding your style is that it's pretty much trial and error. Like I said before, it's about finding out what you feel good in and also what you like the look of. Because I feel like the main thing about clothes is to make you feel your best and your most confident. And the thing which I love about fashion is that you can pretty much create whoever you want to be with your outfits. And so that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope you have fun creating your new style and I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. Let me know what you think about these type of advice videos and whether you'd be interested in seeing more of them in the comments. And so I will see you in next week's video. Bye!